Hey guys, so first of all, I'm sweating profusely. It is hot as balls in my room. Um, we're gonna do another <laughs> scary ass webcomic today. I don't know why I do this to myself. Um, this one is Knock Knock. And as it states uh, on the screen here, it says the following is a special chiller thriller, which may include shocking scenes. Viewer discretion is advised for pregnant women. I am not. The elderly. I am not. And those with weak hearts. What about those with weak minds? <laughs> what about those who are easily scared? Me. Turn up your volume when reading Chiller for more immersive experience. Well, that's not happening because just before I hit record, I turned my volume down <laughs> to like barely anything because this is gonna scare me. But anyways, we are going to continue on. As always, I'm giving you advanced warning here. I might eat the headphones and I'm giving you all a a headphone warning now <laughs> that I might blow your headphones. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But, um, anyways. God damn it. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Oh, okay. Tap, tap on a keyboard. Why on a keyboard? Because <laughs> now I'm going to be scared of my computer. <laughs> uh, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Minji. Ah, uh, mom. What are you still doing up? Oh god. I have to finish this report by tomorrow. You're such a hard worker. Have some of these while you do your report. Wow. Thanks, mom. Mmm, your cookies are the best. Oh god. Is dad still not home? Uh, your dad went on a business trip today. He'll be back in a couple of days. Ah. I don't trust it. Actually, the prologue. Get the f*** out of here. Really? Oh god, okay. This happened in the summer of 2013. Take care. At around 1am, I was heading to the nearby Seoul. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I am terribly sorry if I butchered the word. Station. Since I have, since I has having a hard time finding any customers around this residential area. Oh, don't run her over, please. That's gonna suck. Huh? Hey guys, I'm coming at you from the future just to say, um, I don't know what the f was going on and why I said that. So don't ask me what was going on in this brain of mine because I don't even know. Oh man. Oh. God. Sir, would you mind opening the trunk for me? Ah, I'll put your bag in for you. Okay, cool beans, bro. Casually being a <laughs> and taking those off. <laughs> Clunk. I put her suitcase in the trunk and returned to the driver's seat. Where should I take you? Ah, I'm going to 180-16... Munjong Dong. Again, apologies for butchering if I did. Munjong Dong 180 1. So he's putting it into the GPS. <coughs> did you just get back from a trip? I just got back from Japan. I was studying there. Ah, how long were you there for? Around five months. I was studying art. I decided to go for a little stay since I'm on holiday. The girl seemed like the type who enjoyed chatting. Ah, so are you going to get a job there? The economy's terrible here. I like talking with customers, so I started making conversation with her. It's hard to get a job anywhere in the arts. I just want to get home and see my dad. You only miss your dad? That must make your mom sad. <laughs> All my stepmom cares about is money anyway. I felt like I had touched on a sensitive issue, so I quickly changed topics. Ah, there's Oak Sioux Station over there. Have you heard that story about the ghost at Oak Sioux Station? <laughs> Off! <laughs> so what's gonna happen? <laughs> Of course I have. Everyone's been passing it around online. Ah, I thought you might not have heard since you were in Japan. They have internet in Japan too, you know. Besides, that whole story is just made up. It wasn't even scary. That author is always trying to come up with stuff to scare people. Isn't that what horror is all about? Well, in my neighborhood, there's this game that was really popular. Have you heard of the Wall Knock Ghost? A what ghost? Walnut Ghost? Wall Knock Ghost. It's this game where you summon a ghost and ask it stuff. 
I tried it with my friends when I was little and it really worked. So it's like fortune telling? The game is simple. In a classroom or some kind of room, you go around knocking on the wall until you've made a complete circle of the room. I'm not trying that <laughs> As you go around knocking the wall, you'll find a place in the wall that's empty. And that goes thud when you hit it. And they say, aha, that's where there's a trapped spirit. I really don't want to scroll down. If you stand in front of that spot with your friend and ask a question as you hold a pencil up to the wall and then drop it, the pencil will fall and face either you or your friend. For example, if you ask something like, oh, spirit within the wall, who among us will get a boyfriend first? It will point to whoever will find a guy first. Wow, so who did it say would find a guy first? Me, and it actually worked out like that, but we broke up pretty soon after that. At first, we just asked it silly questions like that, but then we suddenly started getting scared, so we started asking it questions about life and death. Why would you do that? That's just, like, dumb. Like, which of us will die first? Who will die first? That's, like, a terrifying thing to be talking about with a dude who's driving in a car. <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic for the video. I swear to God, I'm like freaking out right now. I don't like it. Once again, it was me. Man, that actually is kind of scary. So does this wall knock ghost only tell you who it is? It doesn't give you any details? For more detailed answers, you write down some answers to questions you want to ask on a piece of paper and then leave it on the floor. The question at the time was, all right, how will I die? We wrote things like disease, accident, natural death as questions. Ah, since I'm in, since I'm with you in the car right now, I really hope the answer wasn't a car accident. Ha ha ha, it wasn't. I'm literally getting like more and more sweaty, not just from it being like super hot in my room, but the fact that I'm getting like really nervous. And then suddenly it was all quiet in the car. After sitting in silence for about a minute, I broke the crushing silence. This is where it's gonna jump out of me, I swear to God. So what did it say? Murder. Jeez, so creepy. <laughs> oh look, we're already here. You live in one of those buildings, right? Miss, where is she? If she gets murdered, then where did she go? That That's, that's what I'd like to know, thank you. Huh? The girl who had been sitting in the back seat wasn't there. Wait, it was her ghost? Surprisingly, her suitcase was still in the trunk. Oh, sh Filled with fear, I took her suitcase out of the trunk. I've watched way too many murder mystery shows, and I have a feeling that there's some, like, freaky, freaky sh in that suitcase. I opened it as if urged on by some unseen force. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh my god, Kate, okay, I need a pillow to hide. I can already see part of it. I can already see part of it. No, thank you. Go away. No, thanks. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I cheated because I didn't have the headphones on, but whatever. I, I hate jump scares, okay? Again, I don't know why I do this to myself. When I saw the body of the girl who had been sitting in the back seat, I immediately called the police and they soon arrived. I had explained, or I, I had blah, I explained to them how I had ended up here with a suitcase containing a dead body. Oh yeah, that looks suspicious on him. Surprisingly enough, this was her house. The investigation began as the police attempted to keep her sobbing mother back who had seen the corpse. Around five months earlier, her mother had has reported her daughter missing. On the security camera near the shopping mall where she had gotten into the taxi, all that was shown was me lifting a suitcase off the sidewalk and putting it in the trunk. Her voice was not recorded on the taxi's black box either. It was just a recording of me talking to myself. The security camera footage showed the man who had dropped the suitcase off there, but the resolution was too low to determine his identity. Who could he be, the murderer who killed her? Or perhaps just someone else in the same position as me, but one thing is certain. Even after she was dead, she really wanted to return home. Around a month had gone by after that. I was eating some cookies, which her mother had given to me, or given me, to thank me for returning her daughter to her. These are good. Have they still not found the murderer? When suddenly I remembered the game which she told me about. Why? No, 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 no. The wall knock ghost. Dude, what is your problem? Why would you do that? Wall knock ghost. Is the man on the security camera footage the one who killed that girl? Yes or no? Huh?
The cookies? I'm so confused. The end. The cookies. So wait, did her, like, wait, hang on here. Did her, like, mother lace them with, like, arsenic or poison or something? That doesn't make a lot of sense, though, because her mother was so distraught when the corpse was found, so I'm, like, either the mother's a really, really good actress, and she's very, very sadistic and actually killed her daughter, or... I'm, like, so honest to God confused. There you go, you guys. There's another, uh, <laughs> horror webcomic jump scare video reaction, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'm a wuss. I cheated. I took the headphones off. I, I covered my face with a pillow, but, like, damn, man, that one out of all of them dragged on for probably the longest. It had a prologue. It had, like, the longest story out of all of them that I can think of. Like, holy bejesus. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And, oh my god, I can't believe I'm asking this, but if you have any more suggestions for, like, scary jump scare web comics, because I can't think of any other ones to react to, this is, like, opening a whole huge-ass can of worms leave them down in the comment section below and I'll take a look at them. Maybe I'll react to them. I don't know yet. <laughs> and click the little bell icon down below so you're not missing notifications for when I do upload videos to this channel. Keep being awesome, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Uh, I'm gonna turn the fan on because it's friggin' hot in this room. <laughs> Bye, guys.